Hello, uh, welcome to uh, David's Kitchen. I'm David, and today we're gonna be making some super waffles, 10 meals for $5. Hi, Scissor Fight, welcome to the show. We've got uh, a lot of things to, to look at here. Uh, I have never attempted to do what I'm gonna do today, so this is a brand new experience for me. I am gonna try to make waffles of every variety that I can in a short period of time. So the first thing you wanna do is start with a really good waffle mix. I happen to pick this bag up for a dollar. It's 85% uh, organic, which is kind of nice, meaning 15% of it's toxic. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cracking myself up. I better not do that too soon. I know a lot of you are giddy from all the money you're making in Bitcoin. I know, it's just, it's amazing what Bitcoin's doing. I did not invest, unlike you, and I'm not depressed. So if you want to join me and not be depressed, don't worry about it because I am not an investor and I never plan on being an investor. I'm not materialistic. I really don't get into money. And I know that's hard for people to understand, but Bitcoin has gotten beyond anyone's imagination. 17,608 today. And it is far, far and away a runaway bubble potential where it could burst. And that means everybody who's investing right now could lose their shirt. You gotta worry about that. Uh, no, no investment is secure in this world. So good luck. I'm not into money, so we're not gonna talk about making lots of money, we're gonna talk about saving money. And if you can buy something this good, multi-grain pancake mix and waffle mix for a dollar, buy it. Because this is like a $4 package normally. But you could replace this wheat with a dollars with a wheat, and you can put the ingredients necessary to, to put them together. But you're bit, way better off getting the pre-made waffle mixes or pancake mixes, just so you know. It saves you a lot of hassle with a lot of in different ingredients, a baking soda, uh, eggs, milk. We're going to add a little eggs to the dish to give it some authenticity. Uh, we're going to add some uh, milk as opposed to water. And I have milk containers that I pick up for next to nothing. And these things are actually pretty good. As long as you get the, uh, like this is an organic Horizon milk container and it's over three years old, but I'm gonna use it anyway because I need to eat these up. They're not sour, they're, they're actually really well preserved. The vanilla works great. Don't get the chocolate ones to store. You can eat the drink the chocolate ones fresh, but the chocolate ones don't store very well. But these store very well. I was really quite surprised. We bought a, a huge box of these. So I'll be using that for the liquid. I'm also going to be adding uh, one of my uh, waffle types will have a little bit of organic chocolate in it from Hershey's. A couple pieces. We'll melt that into it. Uh, we're going to be doing some blueberries. I got about a dollar's worth of blueberries here. Gonna be putting in the blueberry ones. Uh, the, I'm also gonna probably make uh, an, a walnut one. So I've got some walnuts here, just a few walnuts. Uh, I'm also gonna try to make a, a cheese one with uh, one with salsa and possibly one with chicken. So I picked up some chicken breast here, organic roasted chicken breast. I got this can for two dollars. So. Basically, I'm not going to eat all of this, but I'm piecing it all together. And I'm using whatever you have ingredients-wise in your refrigerator to make your waffles taste different. Now, if you just go with a blueberry, you'll be fine. Just go with that one. We're going to make the basic waffle mix right now. I'm going to pour this uh, flour into a bowl, fairly big bowl. There's one. I'm going to go with three cups. I'm going to get the fan on because that that dust is kind of aromatic. So I'm going to blow it for the fan. So about 12 ounces of, uh, or actually three cups would be 24 ounces. No, that's 26 ounces in a package, so... We'll go with two cups. Two. 
Yeah, Jason, what's up? Hey, uh, how's it going? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my cooking show right now. Hey, can we do an unbend all? And uh, I was wondering, uh, that can of chicken, they sell that at my store for $6. Where'd you get that for $2? Uh, I got that for two dollars at a closeout uh, s- uh, sale item at a grocery outlet. It, it, sometimes you find things like that when you look around. Uh, a can of chicken would, with it, which is not organic, would cost about two dollars. So, yeah. Okay. Can you do that all? Thanks. Yeah, you got it. Thanks for calling. Take care. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so I did. Uh, it, I did install a. a a short video for Von Bonmus. I did l- upload it, so it is in the hopper, and uh, I made a little Christmas card. So, all right. So this package is talking to me. Always consult the package when dealing with waffle mix. Yeah, I was going to do chocolate chip waffles. Yeah, I- I've got chocolate, organic chocolate. I've got. I'm going to crush that up. You know, I was thinking I would do that with the walnuts. I thought the, the chocolate and walnuts would go well together. Yeah. So I'm looking at the recipe here to get the exact measurements. And, you know, one of the best ways to deal with it is just start adding either water or milk. So I'm going to take that package of Of organic milk that I had from 20, 20 uh, gosh, 2013. <laughs> Shake it up. Yeah, that's, that's heavy duty. I'm going to open up the, the side with the scissors like that. That's the best way to get it out of there. And I'm going to do a little smell test. Smells good. You can cook with these milk products. They're pretty good. I'm going to put the whole thing in there which is equivalent to about a cup of water or milk. All right. I like uh, a little extra egg in mine, so I'm going to throw an egg for each cup of uh, flour I had in there. So it's two cups of flour, one cup of water or liquid, and two eggs, preferably without the shell. All right, then I'm gonna whip it up with a fork. I'll turn that fan off. We'll be hearing the fan periodically uh, when I start heating up the griddle. Just start mixing it up. This is the base of your flour. And this has already got the baking soda in it. That's what makes it nice. Yeah, gluten is uh, is in this. So if you're gluten intolerant, don't get a gluten-free pancake or waffle mix. Yeah, let me make sure everything's going well here. Yeah, so good luck with uh, with saving money. Uh, the big thing about listening to other people make tons of money on Bitcoin and wonder why you didn't invest is if they lose it all in one day, they're probably going to you know be so depressed they won't, won't want to live. If you have to make waffles the next 50 years in your life that taste great... <laughs> It won't be the end of the world. So people have a an odd way of, of looking at things. It's all about perspective. You can be rich in spirit and not be rich in, in money and still get through life very comfortably. All right, that's a little too thick of a consistency. So I'm going to add a little bit more filtered water in there. You want it a little loose, but not too loose. And you can kind of eye it on. I'm going to start the waffle maker. It's from 1967, so it's got a lot of history in it. Yeah, we've got uh, this waffle maker has been around a long time. Yeah, I'm starting to get that kind of a milky consistency, you know, but it's got to be thick. Thick enough to, to set up. Now, what I do with all my waffles, now this is multigrain, which is great, but what I do with all my waffles is is grind up a, uh, a 
a little bit of flaxseed. I highly recommend flaxseed in your waffles because these are super waffles, for one. And uh, if you put a little flaxseed in it, it will really help with the uh, digestion factor. And flaxseed needs to be ground up. You don't want to put it in holes, so I'm using a coffee grinder to do this. I'm going to basically fill it up right up to the, the base of this thing. And this stuff stores great, so you don't have to worry about it. In the seed, it stores great. When you start to grind it, it gets kind of weird. I prefer to, to get it in the seed and then grind it. I'm going to just grind that up real quick. Okay. This mix calls for a little oil, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm going to add, uh, it calls for canola, but I'm going to add olive oil. So I'm going to put that flaxseed right there in on top of the, uh, the dish. There you go. And then I'm going to add the canola, the olive oil as opposed to canola oil, because I'm really, I'm very, uh, very concerned about canola oil. They're, they're saying bad things about it. it Originally, it was genetically modified. Now they're calling it non-GMO. It's just, I don't know. So I'm just going to put a couple tablespoons. I'm eyeing it on, but there we go. Otherwise, the the, uh, the waffles will be too dry. you got to have some oil in them. Now, that's not really looking like a nice waffle mix right now, but it's going to be a little bit better. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it. So if you eye it on, it's best to put less water and then work your way up and keep stirring. Let me get the thing on me there. Okay. All right. Colavata is bad. Really? When you say badass, you mean really good? Yeah. I'm looking at some colavata uh, extra olive oil. I mean, some of the best olive oil in the world. I got these containers for three fifty dollars apiece. It's like, wow, I scored. So that's what you have to do when you, when you buy things. Look for the best deals possible. Don't shop because something's on sale in general. Always look for the best deal, per se. Okay, so I'm going to use some of that uh, olive oil in a spray bottle. So I have to load my spray bottle. I just realized I'm running low. Okay. I'm going to put some of that olive oil in the spray bottle. And these atomizers are great for getting olive oil or any oil for that matter. It's usually a light oil dispersed. And you can put it on the inside of the waffle iron when you're cooking it. You know, they say baking soda is really, really good for you. I know Scissor Fight was saying the other day that he takes a teaspoon of that and tries it to detox. I don't know if you, you were saying that, but baking soda actually is really a, is good for detoxing. I just can't stand the product in water. It's just, it's horrible. But, uh, yeah, it looks like, and this, I'm going to throw a little bit more baking soda just in the mix on top, just for the heck of it, and mix it in really well. And preferably you put the baking soda in with flour initially, because it's already built into the flour, but I just want to make sure it rises properly. So that's what I did. Okay, we're all set. Okay, I think I'm going to grab a smaller dish. This will be my mixing bowl. I'm going to put some of the, uh, the mix in a smaller bowl, like that. Okay. 
and I'm going to take the blueberries and put them half of the blueberries in this small mix right here. I'm going to make one batch of blueberry. Try how that goes, just to get the grill started. Okay, that grill is hot to go. And the nice thing about doing a waffle iron in the middle of the winter or the late fall is you definitely have uh, something warming your kitchen. Okay, I spray it on the top and the bottom of the waffle iron. Okay. Okay, I had inadvertently pulled the plug on the waffle iron, so I'm going to have to let that heat up again. Okay, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Yeah, the frugal gourmet, right, had a, a thing with uh, young boys. I heard about that. Yeah, that guy uh, was from my uh, area. Oh, we got a call. Jason, you're you're kind of making yourself uh, a big part of the show. What's up, Jason? Yeah. Hey, the problem is continuing to persist. I I, am, I cannot get into the show. I'm not sure what's going on. Wow. Well, I think what's happening, Jason, is our show is uh, heavily censored by Mark, and Mark has been keeping people from coming into our show for a long, long time. That's how Mark makes all this money that he has. So. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned that when the guest accounts are banned, it does some sort of mass IP ban. Yeah. And when other guests come into the room with that same name, they're unable to connect. It so could be true. Uh, yeah, you can, you're can. you not able to see us at America's Third Party? I'm unable to connect to the chat as well. Well, if you can watch us at America's Third Party, but they have a chat room at America's Third Party called the C-Box. It's on the right-hand side. You can get into that. Anybody can get into that. Uh, okay. You're also on You Now and YouTube, so I will keep that in mind. Yeah, but You Now doesn't start till six o'clock. I, I don't have that access in here, so we're just doing the show here. But at America's Third Party, you can catch us uh, in the C box and talk to us there if you want to communicate. I'll set that up on the screen here for me. Yeah. Time for ATPs it was in there 21 hours ago, but uh, hi, Jason. All right. And I'll just. I'll type it in the room. See? All right, thank you. It's real time. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Jason have, has a lot of problems with uh, it, just like so many others, getting in the chat room. And if you want to chat just in per se, I see you. I do see you. Time for ATP, I see you. Yeah, I just had to set it up to see you. No problem. Yeah, and anybody can come in. You can fill in your name at the at the top line. You wrote time for ATP. Anybody can write anything in that chat room. So it's a, a definite backup solution for the uh, what is apparently a sensor problem. And according to Mark, he says he just takes out 300 million VPNs. And he says that's not censorship. So. Thank you. All right. Okay, that's still a little thick. But if I press on those blueberries, it gets a little looser. So take a fork and mash them up a little bit. Because the blueberries you don't want completely whole. They'll cook pretty fast inside of the, the base of the waffle. I'm just having fun today with waffles. I thought it would be uh, enjoyable just to experiment. I am. And check out the cheese deal that I have. I've got another. Uh, I'm going to make a chicken cheese waffle. And I bought this uh, this stuff at Southeastern Mills. Paid uh, fifty nine cents for it. Normally it's a couple bucks, but this is like a really good biscuit cheddar infusion. And I'm going to add that with a slice of cheddar cheese as well. See how that goes. All right, let's get started. I'm lifting the thing. I'm going to pour the initial waffle mix inside covering the base of the center, making an internal square that covers most of the area. All right. 
That went in really, really nice. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to cover it up, let it sit. This is the simplest thing to do is to make a waffle. I even pulled some Santa Fe salsa out. You could actually experiment with this. I'm not going to. But uh, I've had this in the cupboard for about four years in a glass bottle. I'm thinking maybe I should try this, but I don't think it really would taste that good. And I kind of want to work in an area where, yeah, Scissor Fight's been here for over three years. That's right. I want to work in an area where I, I thought it would taste good. You know, having a salsa, a waffle doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You know, but ingredients like uh, chicken and cheese makes sense. I could even put some onions in one, but chicken and cheese. Um, I'm going to suggest uh, cooking the onions first, but yeah, I'm not going to. I was thinking of making the chicken with the onions and then putting in 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 the and infusing it in with the cheese. So that would be the second stage. Maybe I'll just do the blueberry. Then I'll do the uh, the walnut, and then I'll do the chicken and the cheese. Yeah, Dave's version of Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Yeah, I've never had this type of thing. I've heard it sold at various locations and, you know, quick truck stops makes things like this. But uh, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to experiment with. And uh, these things, you can make a, at least two recipes out of one of these boxes or bags. I've got at least enough for another almost three recipes. All right. I'm going to go grab some things to tie these things down. When you close your uh, your package, you want to make sure you get all the air out because air will oxidize. And I use these little things that you can get at standard office supply store just to kind of make sure that there's no uh, leakage. Another option is uh, the old rubber band. It's not a wig. I have real hair. Yes, thank you. Rubber band's another option. But making sure you get the air out of these old things, keeping them fresh as long as they can possibly be fresh. The Chinese chicken, the chickadee china, the Chinese chicken and the waffles. Making waffles. Oh, starting to smell like it's cooking really well. This is the first waffle, so it's going to take a while. I'm going to start prepping the next waffle. I pour some in my, my, my backup container. This next waffle is going to be blueberries and walnuts. Throwing the blueberries and the walnuts and make sure they're kind of crushed. You can crush it with your thumb. and mix them into the, the batter mix. Okay. Well, it smells pretty good. I'm, I'm almost tempted to take a peek, but I'm not quite there yet. If I take a peek and get under it, it might just be premature and the whole thing starts gooping all around it. Trump dentures missing? Really? No, I'm not wearing socks. I'm I'm going without any anything on my feet right now. I'm I'm barefoot like a, a Native American cooking. I have Native American uh, ancestry, so not not like Elizabeth Warren who claims to have twenty percent. I only have like one thirtieth of my genetic strain. But uh, I think we're ready to lift. Yep, up, up, yep, up. See, I did it. I did it. Coming off. Come on, baby. Okay, we're good. The first one's good. Came out a little dry, but it looks good. Perfect. Nice. Okay, I gotta get a little bit more oil on the base, but. It's waffle irons from 1967 still rocking. 
Hello. There it is. Okay. A little more pump action on the oil. Spray the base. Spray the base of the uh, waffle maker, which is over here. Okay, cover it thoroughly. All right, and I'm going to put the, the waffles with the blueberry and the walnut in. Okay. Press down on that. Now, of course, you've got to serve this with uh, real maple syrup so that you've got to factor in some uh, about a dollar for a. Uh, thank you. We're trying to take all of any references to anybody who's stalking us has to be removed. Thank you. All right. Yeah, the the difference between really good maple syrup and really bad maple syrup is huge. I'll show you really good maple syrup. I keep it down at the base of my refrigerator. We get this organic maple syrup from uh, from Costco, and this was a, a like a, a deal at seven ninety nine. So I've seen that kind of a deal out there. But there's really no way to eat waffles that are sweet in nature without really good maple syrup. The chicken cheese, I'd probably put a little butter on it. Yeah. So we did submit a video for the Bondfest. It's coming. I I had a problem downloading, or rather uploading it. It only took about 30 megabyte max. And I had to restructure the video three times to get it to 30 megabytes. So we finally got something that would work. All right, thank you. Boy, that's cooking just fine. I'm going to add the rest of the uh, ingredients together. Because I've got the rest of this uh, waffle thing coming right now, it's like, yeah, I may not be able to feed 10 people, so I may have to augment this to eight. But I'm going to put a little water in the base of this and try to get the rest of it out. I won't be needing this other pan here. Kind of a problem now. I don't want to waste any of this really good waffle material. Beautiful. Now you can replace any of the oils with butter if they, all of, all that you have is butter, but do not cook with margarine. It is absolutely the worst product you can have in your mouth. I mean, it was touted as a big development, big, a big invention, and it's really not a great invention. It's, they, they make margarine out of turpentine and cottonseed and horrible things. Great. The Justice Department is inve investigating. Excellent. What are they investigating? Oh, yeah, Planned Parenthood and fetal tissues. Excellent. Hang on. I, I hear it cooking. The waffle material, yeah. It's starting to cook. Yeah, it's nice to have the smell of waffles. Okay, we're done. We're ready. Don't don't underestimate how fast these things cook. Perfect. Yay! Okay, this layer will be. Yeah, that, that's going to be really good. It's going to be the, uh, okay, these are the blueberries. I'm going to stack the blueberries at one side. And then I've got the, oh, that's so good. Yummy. Okay. These are the walnut ones. Now, the nice thing about these things is you can put them right in the toaster oven or in the toaster itself and reheat them. 
Okay. We got a stack of blueberries. Blueberries and then blueberry with walnuts. Now I'm going to go for the, the cheese blitz. Whoops. Hang on. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the cheese, a small portion of this package, no more than, say, three tablespoons. into this mix. I think I'm going to give up on the chocolate uh, idea unless I make some more later. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting three tablespoons in of the cheese blend. Oh no, I just dropped it. rubber band this up. Then I'm going to take my my trusty little hand back and Okay. About a half a teaspoon. The one on the floor. I'm going to take that can of chicken and put it in this one. All right. I know it's kind of weird. I'm taking the uh, the water out of it, draining it, and I'm going to drop the chicken breast meat right inside. I'm going to break it up with a fork inside. Beautiful. Yeah, I think you could probably take a piece of cheddar cheese and, and or Parmesan and shake it in there, or a piece of cheddar cheese. But I'm breaking it all up into a little mash here with the cheese around it. And this stuff is a really good cheese. Yeah, it's actually making a waffle consistency. Okay, I'm going to top it off with a little bit more of that cheese. Beautiful. Yeah, I think I could have used the chocolate on the blueberry one, but I didn't do it. I'll put some more of this cheese in there. Okay, make it nice and cheesy. Cheesy chicken. Chicken cheese waffles, yeah. Okay. We had enough for two batches. I'm going to add a little water and loosen it up. Taking a spoon and a fork, I'm able to mix it up fairly quickly. Nice. Uh, avoid any spices. You don't want to add any. Yeah, you don't want to confuse the whole thing. All right, here we go. Nice. Okay. Spraying the inside with olive oil. There we go. Nice. Very good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pour our first chicken cheese waffle. There we go. Nice and hot griddle. I'm going to go down on it. No, that doesn't mean I'm going down on the griddle, all right? I should sing. Singing in the kitchen. I'm singing in the kitchen. Hang on, i got to check this. Yeah. Okay. Surveillance cam said everything's good. Great. I hope you don't get any problems with the uh, the flaxseed meal. 
this is an all natural uh, dinner in a mouth, you know, mouthful of, uh, of goodness. Three second rule. That was three minutes ago. Sounds like you had a lot to say to the bonds, Dave giggle. Yeah, I did. Oh, you're outside my house. Let me get the door. Could you knock on it first? Because I don't, I want to make sure you are outside the house. Go ahead and knock on it. Thanks. I'll be waiting. Someone's knocking at the door. That's a Paul McCartney tune, I think. Wings was one of his hits when it first started. All right. Well, Technology Thursday is kind of a, a trip because we've got all these swarming robots, swarming drones. I mean, it's just crazy the way AI is accelerating. You swear you're getting sick? I oh, don't know. Some bells ringing the bell. Open the door and let him in. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So uh, we are about ready to lift the lid on this thing and find out what's in it. I got to admit, these chicken cheese uh, waffles are above and beyond anything I've ever made. Oh, yeah. All right. Knock three times in the morning if you may, if you love me. You unaware that when agriculture began on planet Earth, when grains were first grown, population effing blew up. Yeah, people really liked agriculture. Yeah. You can't eat bitcoins. That was organic breast meat that went in there. Canned organic breast meat, the finest. Jason said he's paid six dollars per can for that. I I really do eat this stuff, yeah. You know, I don't think I'll need to, to release a cookbook. I've got videos. No one reads anyway, man. You know that. Okay, it's almost done. I must say I've never had a chicken cheese pancake, but it'll be tasty. I'll be serving these later tonight, these waffles. I don't know. It could be the nastiest thing ever. I don't know. I'm an above average cook. I'm one of the best cooks in the world, actually. I'm very proud to say that. I've been cooking for 50 years. You notice how, how relaxing it is when you're in my kitchen? You know, the, the whole gluten-free thing is a big, huge trip. Everybody's worried about it. Yeah, they're, they're, I think it's over an overtake, really. It's too many people worried about having a gluten intolerant problem. And then it means, oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's done. Come on. There you go. This is a first, my first chicken cheese waffle. Yeah. Never had that before. Portion it off so it's ready for the toaster. Okay, I'll be eating these over a 10 day period, so it's not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> you can freeze these and put them in a toaster. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing it. Okay, plenty of oil. There you go. These things are amazing, these atomizers. You gotta get some. One of these is like five ninety nine for somebody in your family. Yeah, a nice present for your mom for Christmas. Honey, what is that? One of those weird things you use at the meth house? No, Ma, it's an atomizer. Wow, that's going to be a massive super waffle. Okay. This is going to be a blowout. It's going down. Wow. Massive super waffle. Second chili chicken cheese. So we got two mass or eight chicken cheese, eight blueberry or blueberry uh, almond or blueberry walnut. So there's 16 waffles in all. I didn't do the salsa. I, 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 that's insane. No one would, no, that's ridiculous. 
but it's possible. Good consistency. It's a lot of protein. Yeah, the uh, multigrain. Let me see. Well, I'll be dar. Go all way. Gee, Sarge. Hmm, thank you. That tastes good. Gee, Sarge. Yeah, I don't see the protein on here. You want a list of the vitamins? Yeah. Okay, there's five grams times two. There's 10 grams of protein from the wheat alone, which is high in protein. There's vitamin A, vitamin C, there's 10% of calcium. There's some 8% iron, biamin, riboflavin, niacin, folic acid, phosphorus, 20% of your phosphorus diet. I'm telling you, this organic multigrain from Arrowhead Mills is really a kind of a cool brand. If you can buy that, get that. But, you know, if the best thing is do buy non-GMO. If you see so anything that says non-GMO, that's the important thing. Well, we're almost done, folks, and that's great. And I'll stack the entire meal on this plate here, and then I'll cover it with this. Anyway. And all I have to do is reheat them in a toaster and then serve them with some sort of a topping. Yep. No, no, I'm one of the brightest guys in the world. You don't even realize that... Uh, you're being censored. You don't have any chance of getting your word out. The elitists control the media. No, it wasn't because a young black male embarrassed me. Uh, no, <laughs> hardly. No, I, I couldn't handle the the duplicity of everybody and how they, they had a, a two-facedness, too, that I couldn't understand. I, I'm a, a purist. I'm a authentic person. I, I don't believe in being two-faced. And a lot of the academic people were really, really two-faced. And consequently, look what we have today, a country that's being mismanaged, something fierce. And, you know, had I been president, I would have outlawed Bitcoins in the U.S. But you'll see what's going to happen with Bitcoin. It's not going to be pretty. All right. As much as I want to use the rest of this, I'm, I'm afraid it I'm just not going to be able to use one teaspoon of this. So this raw batter. So I'm going to give it to the compost heap. It's a donation. Along with the eggshell. Now you want to see the rose. I had to show you my compost tea. I just topped off my compost tea with grass clippings outside. Pretty intense. Okay, we're ready to go. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unplug the unit, let it cook in its own heat for a little bit, and pull those out, and I'm ready to start the other show in the other room. All right, this has been a uh, David's Kitchen production. Let me let me put it together in just a second, and I'll present it. I didn't cook with chocolate after all, so it's probably just as well. But you, hey, good warming. Good warning. You know, I don't really know. I, I can't, I can't, I don't have a, a weight or a scale in my toilet. You know, if you're having your, if you have to go check your stools or have to check the stools of your family members, then you got a serious problem. Okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're disengaging and it's perfect. Isn't it amazing? It slices and dices that makes moans and moans of super waffle. The Waffle-Matic. An amazing invention that David Sponheim is now featuring on his show. All right, look at that. Will you just look at that?
Just look at it. I said look at it. Okay. You got your... Wow, look at this. You got your chicken cheese waffles here, served with butter and maybe cheddar cheese on top. That'd be kind of nice. And you've got your your blueberry straight up and then blueberry with walnut. All right, we're ending our super waffle moment. I'm gonna cover it up, put it on the stove for reheat in the, in the toaster. All right, thank you for watching Dave's Super Waffles, 10 meals for five bucks. Take care, I'll be in the other room, starting the show up in just a sec. Thank you.